<laughs> What's going on you guys, Uncle Jesse here. If you're anything like me, you're wondering what the heck is going on with Thingiverse? Why is this website so god awfully slow? Well, in this video, I'm gonna very quickly show you how you can remedy that and make it 5,000 times faster. Maybe two times faster. I, I don't know for sure. I haven't done any speed tests, but it seems like it's running a lot faster. Let's head on over to my computer and I'll show you how. everybody here we are on thingiverse.com if you're not familiar with thingiverse this is like the hub of all 3d printable files on the internet there are a lot of other websites my mini factory um pin shape etc uh, this tends to be however the one that everyone and their mother goes to to share files upload files download files uh, collaborate on things whatnot however uh it runs like absolute garbage lately. It, and funny enough, at the moment, it seems to be running pretty smooth and somewhat fast here. Um, however, it, it, for the most part, when I'm trying to view this, it seems like f images take forever, absolutely forever to load. If I'm popping into a page, it sometimes might load decent. Other times I'll just sit here and have to continuously reload the page and it drives me absolutely insane. Uh, well, thankfully I was over on Reddit and if you're not already on Reddit, you're absolutely crazy. You should be, especially the 3D printing subreddit. There's lots of cool stuff people post here, inspirational stuff, tips and tricks and stuff like that. I love, 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 love checking this out daily. It's one of my go-tos. Well, anyways, yesterday I saw a post here by Biscott05 that was talking about it being really dang slow. And uh, funny enough here, Suspicious Chemistry said, hey, he did some looking and said that it looks like there's actually uh, new relic monitoring, which is some sort of a monitoring service that's running on Thingiverse that's causing it to slow down. Uh, and that he's using an app add-on for his browser called Ghostery. So it's a browser extension. So I'm using Chrome. Here's the Ghostery extension. I'm gonna add this here, show you guys how this all works. So I've added the extension. Here we go, I'm gonna say one click setup, that's fine, I'm good to go. Uh, at this point, I now have Ghostery installed, free, free utility. Uh, when I come in and now do some searches here, maybe I'll come in and say, let's look for some new cosplay files that I'm interested in downloading here. Uh, over on the side here, it's gonna show me some details of what's running here. So here it's showing me some analytics are running. So they've got Google Analytics that are running on this. Uh, and one of these is also New Relics, which is the one that he said, hey, let's block that one. So here I'm gonna block this and then now do another search here. So maybe I'll come back in and do cosplay. And it now is running super smooth. And as I mentioned, this is probably a horrible example because <laughs> at the beginning it was running pretty smooth, but for anybody that's regularly on Thingiverse, you know this runs like absolute hot garbage. And it's now, ever since I did this little trick earlier today, I have had zero issues browsing the site. And it's so, so, so much better than it was before I had the extension in place. So again, I just wanted to share this with you guys. It's a quick little tip and trick here for anybody that's actively looking for 3D files and regularly hitting up Thingiverse. Uh, so hopefully this helps. Uh, check out Ghostery. Also make sure to hit up the 3D printing subreddit over on Reddit. So I want to say thanks again for watching you guys and I will see y'all later. Be posting a new video tomorrow uh, on a Deadpool project update. Thanks guys. Bye now.